Hello guys, welcome back to another Q&A session. So as always, we created a community post asking you guys to put up your questions if you guys have some. So we got almost 29 questions on this community post and I'll be answering all the questions in this video. So if you guys like our work and if you think it's useful for you guys, then make sure to smash that like button and also consider subscribing to our channel. First question is from a user who says, will lock screen customizations be available on Oxygen OS 14 because OnePlus recently had a short survey based on it. Yes guys, short survey was conducted by oneplus but we are exactly not sure because on oneplus 11 we have already got the fourth beta and we don't have any kind of hint of lock screen customizations but i'll keep you guys posted if i get any information about the lock screen customization then another user is asking about the year two experience uh, like battery life my experience with battery life is not good with the latest firmware update so personally i don't use uh, year 2 i use oneplus buds pro 2 i avoided using year 2 just because of the battery life but i have not tested them on the latest firmware as far as i remember i think i used two three days back and i personally did not feel any kind of improvements with this latest firmware it's the same story how it was before the update then the next question is from uh, another user who says is there any approximate date of oxygen os 14 release see in china uh, they are releasing using color os on 14th november so i think between 14 to 20 we might get the first stable build of oneplus 11 based on oxygen os 14. then ketan says when can we expect android 14 on nothing phone one can third party fonts be used in nothing phone one so on nothing phone you cannot use custom fonts right now Talking about Android 14, so Android 14, what I am expecting is it won't come this year. Mostly next year in the month of Feb or March, we might get to see the first stable build of Android 14 for Nothing Phone 1. Because Nothing Phone 2 is still running on first open beta of Android 14. And they might take another 2-3 betas for the stable release. Then Gupta says uh, Nord 3 vs uh, Phone 2 requirements, uh, the best display phone for multimedia and a good battery life clean software which one would you pick so i would personally pick nord 3 because of the multimedia experience i feel nothing phone 2 is not that ready when it comes to there's a lot of issues with the camera inconsistency and after that battery life is good on both these phones and i also prefer fast charging so my pick would be nord 3 next question is from another user who says on phone 2 open beta 1 playback specification shows sd only what about 2.0.4 so 2.0.4 we recently received Received. on that we do have the support of full hd but don't expect hdr support on nothing phone to right now rohit is asking about best tws to buy below 2500 so uh, see i have tested one tws which i think i used almost for a year and with zero latency i did gaming with that uh, particular tws that is wing panthen and i'll leave that link in the description below if it is available on amazon that's the best one for gaming and even listening music the next question we have oneplus 11 custom room videos when so oneplus 11 i am planning to release custom room videos after the stable release of oxygen os 14 because i am continuously testing beta builds that's the reason i'm not covering custom rooms right now rohit says bhai oxygen os versus hyper os versus ios versus nothing os ka comparison banao rohit bhai dekho hyper os ke liye hamare paas xiaomi ka koi bhi phone nahi hai plus ios ka hum kar sakte nothing and oxygen ka hum kar sakte hain one ui 6 ka and oxygen os ka humne comparison kiya animation test us video ko zarur dekhna asus wear says best phone under 25k for normal gameplay record and best battery backup for gaming i would say if you are looking for 25k spend another 3 to 4k more you will get uh, iq neo 7 pro but i am selling my iq neo 7 pro uh, for 25k if you are interested you can drop me a message the phone is in brand new condition then next question is from Anshu who says why my Geo 5G switch to 4G to make calls on OnePlus 11R I have enabled the VONR in settings but it doesn't work can you explain see I personally don't have Geo SIM card but this issue I have never faced on my OnePlus 11 having Airtel SIM card try using different SIM card and let me know in the comment section below then next question is from Pravez who is asking about Oxygen OS 14 for 9 pro in pakistan so see right now oneplus 9 series is under cbt testing there is not even a beta build release for that so once it is available mostly will be getting in the month of december or jan the stable build for oneplus 9 series then vampire says uh, why bgmi 90 fps not working on oneplus devices after setting refresh rate of 120 hertz see on oneplus 11 it is working perfectly fine you let me know which device you have uh, so that i can update you more on it then jaya says uh, hi i am using oneplus 8 software up to date desktop mode not working properly see 
see desktop mode is not properly implemented that's the reason it's in the developer settings so don't expect much from desktop mode on oneplus smartphones sunny says when will come android 14 to oneplus 11 r so i think mostly for oneplus 11 series uh, including 11 r you might get to see at the end of this month for 11 r or maybe next month for stable build so guys these were all the questions which you guys asked me on the community post i hope i have answered all your questions and if i have missed out anything do let me know in the comment section below this is your friend ashok signing out see you guys in the next video